What's up? I need to take my mind off stuff. So we're in the shopping 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 shop. Hello friends, hello friends, hello, 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 hello friends, we're here at Ross. Let's shop with Crystal. We're gonna shop with Crystal. Let's shop with Crystal. Welcome to our home for Halloween Tour 2024. Alright, now that I have the camera, so we thought we'd do something different and just have me open the door. This guy is lit up. He's going to be fun for tomorrow. He's ready for Halloween. We have, as you can see, lots of pumpkins. We have our mummy. We have trick or treat. We have the beautiful wreath that the Chunguses made us, the Chungus family. Thank you once again. And we have more gorgeous pumpkins, and we have beautiful flowers, and then we have Hello Kitty hanging out with us. And then that guy will be lit up. I have to get a tea light for him. And then we have everything you guys have already pretty much seen, and I think the wreath completely sets this off. So again, thank you to the Chungus family. Beautiful. And then we have the Grinch Boo our core mat and then we have the under mat as well so let's go inside you guys all right and there is miss fancy i'm gonna turn the light off so you guys can actually see what it looks like when it's all illuminated but i know a lot of you like to see with the lights on so i thought i would just give you a little preview and there's fancy looking right at us and all right, you guys, I'm gonna turn off the lights so we can get an idea of what it looks like with no lights, which is how I like it. All right, we're gonna start off right here. And actually, it really is hard to see. I think it's, hold on, you guys. All right, that is much better. Oh, fancy. All right, so let's get into it all right we do have our haunted house of course and it's all lit up we have the witch we have the ghost and we've got the bats at the very top and in back of it I decided to put my fall tree that lights up and then this was one of the very first ornaments I think I ever bought or I'm sorry tabletop decor piece I ever bought from at home She's super cute with her little um, bow. And then these two gorgeous Halloween trees with the ghosts and the candy corn and the green frosting and all of that, that goodness. They are from TJ Maxx. Yeah. And then this is Johanna Parker Bowl. Cute owl. And lots of good candy for the trick-or-treaters and then we also have him and I'm not sure where I got him I'm trying he's, he, he's an oldie but goodie unfortunately this um haunted house decided not to light up this year so but we do have the witch in our cauldron and then we also have the candy corn and we have the ghost and it says Happy Halloween, happy Halloween. And then back here, I decided to use her, wouldn't you like to know? And she is from the Dollar Spot. She makes a good backsplash, I thought. And then we also have the Coffin Boo to You. I believe that's from Target Dollar Spot. So let me back up. And that is our table. And I just threw some of that little cheapy netting from Dollar Tree over it because again this is not my home so it's been very interesting at decorating <laughs> and then we have the entryway a Hello Kitty carpet and then we also have one of these right there from Timu 
And I just put down a runner. I think it's from um, Home Goods. And we have the candlelight. And then we have Tis the Season to be Spooky. And then back there we have Leaves are Falling. Autumn's Calling. And then, of course, we have um, the Hello Kitty. And she dances. And we have her in the mummy. And we also have her in the skeleton. And then I put these two gals. I think I got these at Home Goods. I'm pretty sure I got these at Home Goods. And they're really cool. I do like them. And then I put the other broom right here where it says, um, Haunted Home is a Happy Home. So. There you go. So, yeah. And that's what our front looks like. And Fancy's completely mesmerized by it all, aren't you, Mama? All right, over here, I decided to start displaying all of the busts. She does not light up at all, so I put her in the corner on a riser. And Dracula is new. He lights up. And there's my Frankenstein. Scored him this year. And then she lights up barely. And then we also have a witch's brew right done. And Marilyn decided that she just wants to light up with one eye. And then we also have Elvis, the pelvis. Yes. And then we also have the headless horseman. I actually bought the small one. That is the small one. And the, the big one is at home. And then I also have the witch, which I bought this year. And then I decided to throw in a little, little fall girl. And Happy Halloween by Ray Dunn is right there. And we also have the Hello Kitty pillow. So many of you guys helped me out during Halloween getting Hello Kitty stuff. Please help me again for Christmas. <laughs> Um, and then we also have this pillow right there, which is a gingerbread Halloween pillow. Let me move this so we can see it. It's a little bit better. And yeah, I left the tags on because I was like, I was mad rushing it. But it's cute. Nineteen ninety nine. In case you, in case you like it. It's, everything's fifty percent off now. This is just a little cheapy guy. Might have been from the ninety nine cent store. Might have been from Dollar Spot. This is the um, cat that everyone wanted. It went crazy over it last year. I've had this Ray Dunn spooky pillow for a while, and I like it. I like it a lot. Another little cheapy ghost. And these are the last two pillows I have from the 99, and they light up, and I like them. I hope they last. And then we also have Miss Frankenstein Hello Kitty. And she is a cutie. So let me back up. I want you guys to take a look. That is what the couch looks like. Lots of pillows. And again, it's been very interesting trying to decorate a home that's not mine. And then I just left Fancy's bed there with her toys, you know. All right, here where my husband hangs out, we have, I think this was one of the first items I bought this year at, at home and then I just used a lace runner and I believe I don't know where this guy's from oh home goods okay he was a cutie JP look alike and then we also have mr. jack-o-lantern holding the lollipop so thought he was cute and then this is just something really simple. I decided to just put that there. I found it yesterday, and I was like, eh, we'll use it. We'll use it. Why not, right? All right. We're going to do the kitchen. Now, it's pretty much been the same because I was like, you know what? Everything, I want everything to flow. And as you can tell, this is not the way I usually decorate. How I found these, I don't know, but I'm glad I did because they're gorgeous. And these will definitely be a staple. Um, this is my Mackenzie Child canisters, and I absolutely love them. And then this ghost I bought at Joanne's, and 
she's a cutie, that witch right there. I just I just wanted her to keep with the flow. She's definitely um, a Mackenzie inspo, and she has her little black cat leash right there with the gold chain. And then I thought, Minnie looks good there. She mixes in with the black and white. I like it. And then we have this gorgeous canister. Looking very much like a JP dupe. And that's from Ross. And then there's my Mackenzie Child tumbler. And we have our wax melt, which smells so good. I have warm apple pie in there. And then we have Hello Kitty soap dispenser. We have dish soap in Frankenstein and regular soap in the candy corn. And then we also have Trick or Treat Redone Canister. The Frankenstein Little Cakes from Home Goods. Hey Boo, try to keep it going like with the black and white. And then we have another black cat cake. And then we also have the JP little doubles of mugs. I love the little faces. And then we also have some more hand soap. And there's my sink, and I like to be festive, so we have, of course, fall leave. And just Halloween and fall sponges. And then over here, I have my Frankenstein mug, and we have Ray Dunn, Boo, again keeping it like with the black and white, and then I have Sally and Jack Skellington, and then I threw in orange for some color, and then we have the big trick or treat, and we have Mickey, thought some cool orange would work, and then we also have the Evil Queen measuring cups. And we also have, hold on. All right, I'm gonna turn the light so you guys can see a little bit more. All right, and then we also have another Hello Kitty mug. We have my frother. And I have, of course, the Hello Kitty pink mug. This black skeleton mug. Bite me. That's for the haters. And another Frankenstein mug. And then I love, this is one of my favorite mugs, to be honest with you. This one right here, it's got a, this is a nice big cup. Love it. So, kept it rather simple. Again, you know, this is the Airbnb. It's just really, it's, it's very interesting trying to decorate you know, somewhere else, to say the least. So I did the best I could. Um, and you can see all right there how it looks. And then we also have a Hello Kitty rug right there. I thought that was cute. And then I put right here, I just put a little skeleton right there. That closes off from the laundry room. And we have my candy corn. Again, throwing some orange in up in the mix. Oven mitts. And then here's our candy bowl for tomorrow. We have a lot of candy. We got the good stuff too. So there you go. And my husband, of course, bought me beautiful flowers. And then we have Mickey. And then we have my utility crock with the ghosts. And we have Happy Fall by Ray Dunn. And then we have Jack Skellington. And I also have a bat. I don't know where my ghost one went. And then I have two spoon rusts, this one, and that one that says boo. And then we have Ray Dunn Hocus Pocus. And then we have my Mackenzie Child teapot, which I have not used. <laughs> and I also put down, I'm also using my Johanna Parker, um, kitchen towels, keeping it again with the white and the orange and the black, and I also have another towel right there, and we have Mickey and Minnie, and then speaking of Minnie, here's another candy jar which you guys helped me score, my KitchenAid mixer which I love, 
And then I also kept it with... I also like the fact... I really tried to look for a um, Christmas paper towel holder, but no luck. We'll see. Maybe we'll have some luck. I need to hydrate. All right, coming over here. I did fall up here. And thank you, Caroline, for the beautiful... Um, Hello Kitty, Gobble Gobble Turkey. And we have the fox, and she is sitting on a Ray Dunn cozy canister. And I have this little fox. Give thanks. Ray Dunn with a gnome. Fall, y'all. And actually, we glued this together. This was all from Dollar Tree, and we glued it all together. And then I have the fox. I think that's from Michael's. And the sign behind there is from Hobby Lobby. So that's my little ode to fall. Now, this is Johanna Parker. Mm, I thought it would keep kind of like a ghost motif. Here's my Hello Kitty ghost, which you guys... I think I found this on my own, but so much of the Halloween Hello Kitty, you guys like that, I, you guys helped me get. So she's right there. And this is actually from Dollar Tree. And then that ghost right there is actually from the Dollar Spot from Target. And then this little candle illuminating is actually from Dollar Tree. I should have picked up. I think I did pick up more. I just didn't pack them all. All right. This haunted house I was lucky to score a while back at TJ Maxx. I was in line. And this is like, this is still a highly coveted piece by Ray Dunn. So pretty lucky. And then thanks to you guys. These Hello Kitty little figurines. Again, blue sky. Love it. Due to all the help from our friends. And then we also have this gorgeous gingerbread house, which lights up. And we got lollipop. We got the kitty cat. We got candies. We got candy corns. And... Coming down here, we have my Poison by Ray Dunn. And then I just use the salt and pepper shakers because they they're ghosts. And then this is, I put them him on there, the ghost with the RIP. And then in the back, we have Frankenstein Hello Kitties. I'm going to turn the lights off so you guys can see. And then this one, I think I bought this year. And then we have Blessed by Ray Dunn. And then we also have Sally McSally. And I'm going to back up. And I decided to put, like, it was kind of following right here. So we have Minnie and Mickey Mooser. And then we have Hello Fall. So, yeah. It all works. And then coming to the tree, our Halloween tree. All right, let's take off. All right, the hat I just got from Dollar Tree. And there is Jack Skellington and the ghost made by the Chungus family. So very grateful. And look what else the Chungus family made, you guys. Look at all the picks they made. And I used all of them. Frankenstein. Jack Skellington. Sally. And a friend of the channel sent me these ornaments. And this is Johanna Parker, and she made them for me. And so I think it all came together really, really well. I put in a little bit of Hello Kitty. I put in some skeletons. And then let's take a look at the tree skirt. I wanted, I was going to put something in the center, but I was like, you know, I like how... Sally and Jack are right there. And then we have our Hello Kitty pumpkin and the mummy. You guys can tell I have a lot of greeters. But it looks good. I like it. I'm very happy with the tree. Thank you so very much, everyone. And over here I kept it super simple. We have the ghost family. They're having a good time. And I just wanted the hat. The Mackenzie Child inspired hat. That's from Ross. Treat, boo, that's all Ray done. And I just put some extra ornaments. And there's actually a candle behind them. 
And again, I am going to turn the lights off so you guys can kind of see how it all looks. When the lights are off. All right. Coming over here. She's a, she's a cookie jar. I don't know where I got her, but I had to have her. You guys helped me score her, Hello Kitty. I put her on top of Jack Skellington. And then somebody scored this for me as well. It's absolutely gorgeous, one of my favorites. And then I bought this teapot, Johanna Parker. Spooky, Ray Dunn. And then we have the Evil Queen. And then I bought this, actually, oop, the camera just had a brain fart. Um, I actually bought this at Dollar Tree when it first came out and they sold out very quickly. And then I also have the Boo Canister by Ray Dunn. And the Hello Kitty. And we also have this, which was mailed to me. Love it. This was really, I mean, people wanted this from Ross. Little tail right there. And then I just put candle to illuminate. And then we also have Maleficent, Karomi, Hello Kitty. And then we also have the zombie canister. So I'm going to back up a little bit again. Just kind of let you guys see. You know what, let me turn this light on so we can see a little bit better. Hold on. Alright, and then I'm going to turn the kitchen lights off. And we'll just leave that light on. We'll just kind of, you guys can kind of see what the look I'm going for. Alright. And I'm going to take you guys out through here. It's a little darker, but we did our best considering with what we had to work with. Alright. So, oop. Hold on. Oh, no, it's on. Okay. So let me back up. And I have my haunted house cakes. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Chungus. You guys sent me one of them. And this, I need to get a new one. This one's barely lighting up. It's on its last leg. My ice cream truck, the haunted ice cream truck. Love that. Got that last year. This one I believe I got this year, this big one. We have a little marshmallow cake. This one I believe I got this year as well, the pink one. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Yes. We have it. Miss Hello Kitty watching over it all. Trick or treat. And I'll turn the light on in here too. And you guys also helped me get that. My pink ghost. My other little pink ghost with cotton candy. And then I brought... This is a little cheapy, but he's sitting on all the wax melts. And then we also have Welcome to Our Haunted Home. Hello Autumn. And then we also have Frankenstein. And we have the zombie, Hello Kitty, and the witch. And then I put Maleficent on a pedestal, trick or treat. And then these are from, um, oh yeah, there's some more light right here. From the Dollar Tree Plus spot, I love I loved all the vintage, so I did purchase them. And then we have the two skeletons hanging on the windows. And then I this is a brand new tree from I got it well I got I did, I did get it at Wally World, and then I used the black and white decorations to give it that Halloween cute look. I mean, I wanted to use it for the Mackenzie Child tree, but they're just too small. And hold on, you guys, hold on. And these guys light up. Now, what I like about the new LED trees from um, Wally World is the base lights up as well. So I thought these were fun. We have my Melody Frankenstein right there. And then we have a little witch just kind of hanging out. 
And then we also have another vintage sign from the Dollar Tree Plus. And I don't know why this guy is not working. Oh, there he goes. Okay, Jack Skellington. And then we also have Minnie and Mickey. And then I also put a hat right there. So, let me back up and let you guys take a look. Trust me, I wish I had more decorations, but... And then those two pieces I just put right there. I got those at Ross. I, sh I showed them to you guys in the hall. It's kind of like the Halloween room. And over here, we have Happy Halloween. And we've got our Cabbage Patch Kids are in the wagon. And we have another greeter, Hello Kitty greeter right there. She's hanging out with them. And then we also have, let me turn the light on. We wish you a very scary Halloween, trick or treat, October 31st. And you can see it says happy Halloween. And we did get that at, at home. And then I put my Halloween wreath right there because I can't hang anything on the walls. <laughs> and it says happy Halloween. And then... You guys can see a little bit better so just try to make it work as best as I could like I said I mean this place did not come with hardly any furniture so it was the struggle was real <laughs> getting this place together but I do like this um, definitely gonna have to get a new pink tree that's not it's not even lighting up so, yeah. Oh, more light. I don't even know. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Let's go back in the house. And we're going to turn the lights off so we can just kind of Get the illuminating effect going. So we're gonna look like tomorrow when we're streaming live. As a matter of fact, I gotta get the pizza on order. I really like our tree. So, all right. Now the front of the counter. I brought this from home, and that is the floral. Hold on. All right, so I left this big girl. I don't even know where I got her, but shes I'm so happy I picked her up. She matches, of course, the Mackenzie Child, and she has all of her candy. She is ready to go. And I also brought my black and white little pumpkins, and then... I have these, I think these are cupcakes and cashmere. And these beautiful placemats are JP. And then we have Ray Dunn keeping it with the black and white. Another black and white pumpkin. Another placemat. Another ghost. And then because I wanted to keep it with the orange, I brought my trick or treat ghosts. And we also have Ray Dunn right here, Boo. And then we also have the other one, the trick or treat. And I like my little fall following picture. And we got him this year. Not sure where. So that's how that looks. So you can see, you saw the inside of the kitchen, and this is the when you walk in, you would see this, which I think is nice. Very calming. Again, I'm used to really going overboard, which, you know, yeah. So this is like a whole different way for me to decorate. I was like, oh my God, I don't have enough decorations. But um, you guys have to let me know what you guys think in the comment section.
All right, I even decorated the bathroom. A little illumination. I'll turn the light on. All right, so I have my new Hello Kitty towels. I've been, I, you guys, I really need your help in scoring Christmas Hello Kitty towels because I have used all of, these are the only two I saved because these are my favorite faves. So I need more. Um, I also did go to Bath and Body Works and we ran out of soap, so I just had to get some of the um, Christmas. So this is whipped white cocoa. This is one of my favorite little Hello Kitty soap dispenser and then right here all I did was just put the candle and I kept that and then I love this one and so I put her right there and then a little faux um, Ray Dunn and that's all I did honestly I didn't do like, anything big in the, kit in the bathroom but I thought I'd show you guys and then we have of course Charlie Brown and yeah that's what's going on here. All right, you guys. You guys asked. And this was a lot of work, so. <laughs> All right. This isn't everyone. Um, I left behind all the babies that are in boxes. Twins. Everyone that's in boxes was left behind. But I brought all of my other babies. And, um... A lot of people don't understand. A lot of people have had a lot of really rude things to say about my Cabbage Patch Kids. But I will say this. I have handpicked each and every one of them. I have waited for, anticipated, couldn't wait for their arrival. And there had to be something about them that I really liked. And like I said, I have handpicked every single one of these babies. You know, when I when they would arrive, I would show them in the halls. I have slowed down because there's a lot, but each one, like I said, I handpicked because there's something I like about them. These are all my beautiful babies. I left her in the bag because she. We brought her in the bag. I don't want to take her out. I love her green eyes and her side ponytail. I love her. She's cute. Like a farm girl. She's adorable. I love pacifier babies. I like them all. She's ready for Christmas. She's part. She's a twin. So, I don't know. I don't know where her other twin is. And she's a favorite, too, because she's got her pacifier. And so they were all picked. And yeah. And then over here, we have more of my babies. And again... These are all 1980, 1978. These are all OGs. That's the only kind I like are the old school ones. And when I say they were handpicked, I went on eBay. I bought from collectors and that'd be something that I liked about them in order for me to purchase them. She's in her bag. They're a cute nighty. Another beautiful pacifier baby right there. And again, these are all from the 1980s, late 1970s. I love her outfit. She looks like she's ready for Christmas, Thanksgiving. I love the fuzzy haired ones. Um, yeah, I love his hair.
Matter of fact, looking at that makes me want to get a couple more. See, I love the fuzzies. Like, these cost more when they have fuzzy hair. His hair is fuzzy. So, yep. You guys wanted to see them, so I got them all out. <laughs> and um, I didn't count them. I don't... I mean, I mean, I really couldn't tell you how many I have because this isn't everybody. You know, this is not everyone. Everyone that's not here. But, uh, yeah, they take up a lot of room. <laughs> and, you know, I know everyone, like, I know probably people that are new had no idea that I, you know, collect Couch Watch Kids, but I do. And... When we move, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have a she shed and, uh, I don't know. They might need bunk beds. Yeah. We might need a set of bunk, twin bunk beds because there's no way. I mean, unless I, I mean, I was going to pile them on top of each other, but you can see how much room they take up. I mean, they're not all sitting up perfectly, but you know, so now, I will tell you, this one's the most expensive one, and she's a Jessamar. And she was made in Spain, so. She doesn't have any clothes on because she cost a lot without clothes, let alone with clothes. So, yeah. And, uh, you guys finally got the, well, semi look at the whole collection. Cause I am missing my twin, my, my sets of twins and I have, a, I bought a lot of twins, a lot of them. I was on a twin kick for a while, but they're in boxes. So I wasn't going to take them out. And there's fancy. She's very really jealous of the couch watch case. Oh, fancy. You're on camera. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, yeah, but she doesn't use them for toys because she knows that these are not her toys. All right, let's keep going. All right, this is the other bedroom, which we don't even use. So I just lightly decorated, you know, we have a Hello Kitty throw. We have my cute pink pumpkin pillow, my pink and white pillows. We have some Hello Kitties. We've got some Cabbage Patch Kids. Just... Really just, yeah, have some lights going and yeah, I mean, we have never slept in this room. It's pretty much, it's just, this is kind of like my room where I get dressed. Well, not kind of, it is. This is where I get dressed and my husband gets dressed in the other room. And he was like, oh my gosh, because he's never seen the Cabbage Patch Kids set out like that either, so... Pretty wild. All right. And I think I'm going to leave you guys now. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm hungry. I've not eaten dinner. And hope you guys all enjoy the tour. And yeah, definitely a different look. And what I'm used to doing. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow if you decide to join us in the Halloween haunted house. Halloween haunted house. Halloween open house. We're going to get some pizza. We're going to make some goodies. Matter of fact, i got to find the box the goodies came in. Um, And we're going to get some trick-or-treaters. Like I said, we've got loads of candy. Look at all that candy. Right, well, not right there, but this is just one. We got the good stuff. We got M and M's. We got Kit Kats. We got Twix. We got regular M and M's. Grand. I've never had a Grand. I have, like raisins in it. Reese's Pieces. Milky Way. I'm sorry, Musketeer. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. 
and I will see you guys all tomorrow, my friends.